We're pleased to offer you a free copy of our 2024 Catholic Art Calendar with uplifting prayers and artwork to inspire you throughout the year. The Catholic Date Pad lists holy days, feast days, and has a space for you to write in your own appointments. The quickest way for us to process your request is to order online at heartofthenation.org. When completing the online form, use the promo code TVMASS. If you're not able to order online, mail your request to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53214. You may order by phone, however, it takes longer to process your request. The toll-free number is 1-855-855-MASS. We're able to provide one free calendar per household. This Christmas season, please consider a generous gift in support of the Sunday Mass on TV. Thank you. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Church celebrates the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of Mary. The Immaculate Conception sometimes can be one of the more confusing solemnities in the Catholic Church. We'll hear the Gospel of the Annunciation, and we'll think the Immaculate Conception was Jesus when Jesus was conceived in the womb of Mary. Not true. Not true. The Immaculate Conception is when Our Lady was conceived without sin, original sin, in the womb of her mother, Anne. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son which you foresaw, so through her intercession we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man Adam had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head, while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory. We who first hoped in Christ. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who is called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. In many families, something that's, that's said from time to time is that we think about food in reality of, of how mom's food is. So we'd say, oh, these cookies, oh, they're good, but they're not quite as good as, as mom's chocolate chip cookies. Or you might say the same about chili or about pasta salad or the way mom makes whatever the, that specialty dish might be. Uh, sometimes it can be true for dad too, but for this story, it, it's, it's kind of mom's. And, and we just know, even if something else is good, we say, oh, but it's, it's almost like mom's or it's not quite as good. Everything is that kind of comparison uh, to mom's, to how, how mom made it. I think of that example of the food that that mom gives. Because today, within our first reading, we hear a story about, in some sense, mom giving bad food. We see the the man say, the woman whom you put here with me, she gave me the food, she gave me the fruit, and so I ate it. Now, of course, he was there too, but he, he blames mom, he blames the woman. And then we hear at the end of the gospel, at the end of the first reading, perhaps one of the, the, the saddest uh, verses of the scripture, where it says the man called his wife Eve and she became the mother of all the living. The man called his wife Eve, she became the mother of all the living. And in some sense, our hearts collectively drop because mom gave that, that sense of, of bad food, food that was not good, was bad, was bad. This said the man was in it too, but, but in that circumstance. But then in the midst of what we celebrate today, the Immaculate Conception, there's good news. There's good news. Because in the light of redemption, in the light of redemption, just like in the fall, there's a man and a woman together in that sin, so also in redemption, there's a man and a woman together. And so in the light of redemption, in the light of the person of Jesus Christ, we look back to that verse, the woman whom you put me here, she gave me the fruit and so I ate it. What does that verse mean in the light of redemption? The woman whom you put here with me, Mary. She gave me the fruit. What does Elizabeth say? Blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Who is the fruit that that Mary gives us? Our mother, our new mother, Jesus Christ. And so I ate it. The Eucharist, the Eucharist. 
And so there's the sorrow of that first reading, the fall, the fall of, of humanity. But at the same sense, within the Immaculate Conception, Mary being consumed for, uh, without sin, the woman whom you put me with here, put here with me, she gave me the fruit and I ate it. It's a whole new light. Indeed, that woman is Mary. And she gives us the fruit, Jesus. And yes, we do eat him. We consume him, his love, his mercy, as we receive Holy Communion. Praise God for the gift of Mary's, of Mary's interception, intercession. And praise God for the redemption given to us in Christ Jesus. I believe in God, God the, Father the Father Almighty, Almighty creator of heaven and, and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Placing our trust in Jesus Christ, we present our prayers of petition. For the Church, that we may follow Mary's example of selfless obedience to God's will, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for a renewed commitment to the world God created, that we may do what is necessary to ensure that this planet may be enjoyed for generations and generations to come. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who are expecting the birth of a child and for those who are struggling with pregnancy or infertility, that they may know God's presence in their profoundest joys and sorrows. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially among our heart of the nation parish family, may they know healing and wholeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, that they may be raised to glory in the Lord's own resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs and prayers of all our heart of the nation parish members, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, in your mercy, hear these our prayers. And through the powerful intercession of our dear Blessed Mother Mary, grant them according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours would be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her on account of your provenient grace to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through her intercession, we may be delivered from all our faults. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you preserve the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son 
the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. So at our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other some sign of Christ's peace. Peace to both of you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that fault, from which in a singular way you preserved Blessed Mary in her Immaculate Conception. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. God.
pleased to offer you a free copy of our 2024 Catholic Art Calendar with uplifting prayers and artwork to inspire you throughout the year. The Catholic Date Pad lists holy days, feast days, and has a space for you to write in your own appointments. The quickest way for us to process your request is to order online at heartofthenation.org. When completing the online form, use the promo code TVMASS. If you're not able to order online, mail your request to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53214. You may order by phone, however, it takes longer to process your request. The toll-free number is 1-855-855-MASS. We're able to provide one free calendar per household. This Christmas season, please consider a generous gift in support of the Sunday Mass on TV. Thank you.